Hi, I'm Molo, and I'm here with the multifaceted, extremely talented Darian Shields. Hello, how are you? Doing well, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So I wanted to go ahead and ask you um, about yourself and what made you the artist you are today? So like, your background and stuff. Huge question. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know. It's funny, it's like, I definitely didn't really start as a musician, but as like a visual artist. Mm -hmm. And that kind of started in, you know, grade school, just drawing spaceships and like dinosaurs. Um, dinosaurs. <laughs> that progressed. <laughs> That, that progressed to a lot of, like, you know, drawing and painting that throughout growing up. And it was kind of around high school when I really started making music. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot of indie rock kind of stuff. Uh, and so Vaporwave was really uh, unexpected, but it was really great to discover and then discovering how accessible the genre was was really cool because it was the kind of thing that I discovered it uh, in like 2017 or 2016 and then mm -hmm. I just started making it because it's, when you first start off it's really easy so things have progressed a lot since then yeah. That's kind of the evolution. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, it, I'm, I'm pretty new to Vaporwave too, and it, it's an amazing genre and community to be a part of. Um, so your music, I wanted to talk about it. Um, for me, <laughs> you have like a, a pretty sensual, like, sexy music that you make like a lot of your songs kind of come off like that to me um did you mean for that portrayal like in like did you mean to make pretty like sexy music well, no, I, I don't know that mm -hmm. okay okay i'll say this sports ball uh that's the one thing that i can think of mm -hmm. I, think I know what you mean but like the rest of it, that would not be intentional. I think fourth mm -hmm. ball, I was really trying to be tongue to cheek for that. Uh, or I guess, yeah, glider too. Yes, I was trying to be tongue and cheek about the idea that a lot of like 80s and 90s music is kind of cheap and it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, toxic masculinity, maybe you could say. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. just like kind of sleaziness. And mm -hmm. I think that, especially on the last record, that's. Mm -hmm. As you, weird as it is, but that's kind of part of the comedy, I guess. For... Yeah, I, I like, um, you use like a lot of like slow reverb and stuff, and I'm like, mm, I could listen to this <laughs> while <laughs> getting in the mood. <laughs> yeah, um, but I would also like uh, to ask you, like, um, would you like to describe your music? fully to me and like what well yeah i'll do my best it's always tough for mm -hmm. but uh, for vaporwave there's like specific things that i try and go for um i really try and do so when i do an album i'm trying to work uh, primarily within a certain year for each album mm -hmm. and it's gone in uh, sequence. I started with the year 1991, and my next album that I'm starting to work on will be 97. So I've done a few albums now, but within those albums, I'm trying to get all of the samples that I use from those years. Mm. Uh, it can be kind of difficult and a little limiting, but uh, whether I'm pulling stuff from the internet and YouTube or uh, directly from like a VHS tape or that tape. Uh, that's, those are kind of the rules that I first go by. And then from there, I'm really trying to like loop things and slow them down and just kind of make a musical collage. Mm -hmm. 
for my sound, I guess I really try and keep it kind of classic sounding and uh, achieve that through like the dead media of the set that we just take integrated the music software. So I don't know. Trying to sound classic, but mm -hmm. also do new stuff with original vocals and things like that. I definitely I get that. I, I definitely yeah. see, because like, um, your music with uh, Eventual Infinity uh, is like classic, but it's funky and it like, it's kind of like dance music. I mean, that's how I kind of felt when I listened to it. Yeah. And I love like how you are experimental a lot in your music. Um, have you, like, do you have an idea of, like, what you would like to experiment further going on that you haven't already? Yeah, um, it, it's been evolution on the albums, too, where this last album, I was, the album before, I did one track of vocals, and this last one, mm -hmm. I did, I think, three. So I'd like to keep going with that and also just like work with different people. And yeah. I think that's one way to like really up your game. Mm -hmm. Even if you, I don't know, even if you make something unexpected, even if you're not necessarily trying. I think yeah. What really helps you blossom. So I'm hoping to keep doing that and, uh, I guess, if anything, I just want to, like, make my tracks a little more intricate. I think they have a tendency to just be, like, uh, three or four layers sometimes. And I'd like to start, I'd like to start adding a little more nuance to them. Mm. I don't know. It, it's weird because I'm not necessarily, like, a producer, uh, which is why uh, the collab I did with Eventful Infinity is so special to me because, like, he's an amazing producer and mm -hmm. uh what we were able to do together is just i don't know mm -hmm. i wasn't even really prepared for it, but yeah that's what i'd like to focus on. yeah i love that um i also wanted to ask how long have you worked at jc penny <laughs> is the summer oh, sale God. still going on or <laughs> summer sale uh i don't know if uh, the fine viewers at home will have seen the set yet, but yes, <laughs> absolutely. It will be going on all summer long. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get in on that. Um, yeah. so, yeah, and you make, like, various videos on, like, TikTok, and, uh, you have music videos and other videos. Um, you seem to always add a little comedy to it. Uh... Yeah. How do you come up with your videos and what's the process like? So there are different things that just like pop into my head and I'm, as I'm sure most TikTok users could agree that's the genesis you know, but um, for, you know, it's like it's like having a uh, draft for your tweets or whatever Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same thing. I just collect like a pile of ideas for a TikTok video and then decide which one I want to do next. Currently, I don't think I have any ideas, but as soon as I get one. Yeah, I understand that. Um, so, uh, also, uh, what are some goals? Uh, for yourself that you would like to achieve with your music and your visuals? Um, well, okay. I'd like to evolve um, the sound that I have and, again, the complexity of my music. Um, the whole Darien Shields thing comes from Sailor Moon and so this run of uh, 1991 to 1997 that I'm doing mm -hmm. is because that's how long the show ran in the U.S. on television. Um, and so once I get past this next album of 1997, I'm kind of going to uh, start moving away from doing these like 90s inspired albums. And I'm going to try and start evolving my sound to be uh, 
not necessarily exactly like the collab I did with Eventual Infinity, but like mm -hmm. something more like that where I'm using my real voice and like just kind of making cool music that has a single voice. Hell yeah. That's, that's my goal. Video wise, I'll probably keep exploring different things. I want to work with some higher profile people and not that maybe I'm not there yet. Awesome. And uh, do you have any shout outs for some recent projects or upcoming projects you would like to, you know, put out there and maybe like shout out people you <laughs> love and stuff? Yeah, well, obviously NRAIL for <laughs> my boy. That's um, my boy. Oh, yes. Yeah, good point. Sorry. We'll try and <laughs> take that that is the way um <laughs> but uh ming curry is has been another huge uh huge booster to me and yeah. and just general awesome dude um oh. he and i are working on several things but we just put out a collab together on his new album and we're doing a soundtrack for this movie that i've been working on mm -hmm. um which has yet to be named but we've been working on that together and got a album in the work. It's actually all done, but I just haven't released it and it's been like a year almost. And so I don't know what I'm planning to do with that yet, but that's in the work too. Okay. Working on something with James from Male Tears, uh, which will be on my next album. And I don't know if I was supposed to say anything about that, but uh, there's that, and <laughs> yeah, I don't feel fears. Hell yeah, I'm gonna I love try games. And reach out. I'm gonna try and reach out to more people. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Well, that's awesome. Um, thank you so much for, uh, you know, this time, and uh, I hope- Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, everyone have an amazing time watching his set. I bet it's dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Bye.